Hi everyone, welcome to SMTK Robotics. I'm Dr. Krant Kumar, co-founder. So in this video, we're gonna go over the process of designing a chip and prototyping using a 3D printer. So here we have a robotic and the factor. And for this, we'd like to create a jig which goes inside this hub right here and which can fit the electromagnet and the inductive sensor, okay? So for that, let's take a few measurements using the digital calipers right here. So first we need the diameter of this uh, hub right here. And it's about 9.64. So let's take a note of it. And then the length. It's about 42.03 millimeters. So based on these measurements, uh, we'll start a sketch and then we'll design a jig to fit these two. And for that, we also need the hole diameters for the inductive sensor as well. So we're getting that at 7.85 millimeters. Just double check that. That's actually 7.45. And the hole for the electromagnet is four millimeters, which we already checked. So let's start sketching. So this is uh, Shaper 3D modeling software. And this is on Apple iPad 2018 model and using an Apple Pencil. So let's export this model in STL format for 3D printing. So we imported the file into a flash print 3D printer software uh, that controls the Flashforge 3D printer. So this is the design file and this is the STL file that you're looking at. And we're gonna print it in standard format. Right here. Just gonna save the GX file. Let's 
So this is how the G codes run, and you can see each layer right here. And then we'll just print it. Let's get the jig from the base plate and we'll start attaching the screw. Let's drive the screw in a little bit. And then we'll fix the electromagnet. And then we'll go with the inductive sensor. And there we go. We got a jig with the electromagnet and the inductive sensor. So let's get this fixed on to the robotic end effector. So here we got the robotic end effector uh, with an integrated uh, spring. And let's fix the jig on to the robotic end effector. There we have it. This is a sensor integrated electromagnet robotic end effector. So let's plug this into the robot and take a look. So let's change the uh, end effector here. So first let's take the connection out. And then there's a screw underneath. We'll remove this end effector. Here. So the clip right here. And then let us integrate our end effector here that we just prototyped. There we go. And let's clip it. And then the 12 volts for the electromagnet goes into the 12 volts supply and the inductive sensor goes into the uh, one of the IO ports right here. So we'll tangle everything out right here. switch on the robot and you can actually see it. There we go, green light. That's the sensor integrated and effector for Dubot Magician Robot Arm using a 3D printed jig. Uh, you can check out our YouTube video on how uh, this end effector can be used uh, by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Assembly Robotics. Thank you.